I'm Peter Sidwell, welcome to my kitchen. I am going to show you how to cook a wonderful product, Alaskan Pollock. It is wild, it is sustainable, it takes flavours really, really well, healthy, easy to cook. It is a great product to use to feed your family. I'm going to show you a series of recipes that kind of show you how to prepare it, how to cook it, how to deliver cracking recipes for you to serve in your kitchen. This recipe is a really quick, easy, fresh tasting dish. It's kind of Italian inspired. Um, it's a tapenade and herb crusted pollock. It's really simple, really easy to do. So, first thing you need to do is get some foil, okay? Ready on a baking tray. I've got the oven, 180 degrees. I'm gonna get my frozen pollock now. Easy this dish, cooked and frozen, no problems. So, let's just unwrap it straight onto the tray. Okay, and put them together, all right, if you can, like that. And then we'll put a little drizzle of oil on, and then a touch of black pepper. And then a little bit of salt, not a lot, it doesn't need a lot for this because of the topping that's going on it, okay? Right, so let's put that to one side. Now, to make our tapenade. So, tapenade is like an olive pate, so it's blended up Kalamata olives, this one. It's beautiful, salty and kind of really lovely flavour. So we want two teaspoons of that. And then I want two tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs. Now you can get these at the supermarket all the time. And they're really lovely because they go really crispy, but you could use you know, normal breadcrumbs, but make sure they're dry. So if you're using fresh, dry them out in the oven. So two tablespoons, so basically twice as much as tapenade. And then we want a glug of oil, just to kind of loosen it and allow it to crisp up, and then mix that together, okay? If you were trying to do this gluten-free, you could just do it with the tapenade, but you wouldn't kind of get the crunch. But it still can be done. Right, take our fish, fold that down, and that, there we go, and then just spoon the crumb on top of the fish, and then just pat it down a little bit, okay? Go. Same on the other one. This wa this also works really well. If, you, if you're not a big olive fan, you could use like a sun-dried tomato paste or something like that. You could do it with pesto if you want. But I quite like the kind of dark, earthy flavour that you get from the olives. I think it works really, really well. Okay, so that is just sat on top of the fish. A little drizzle of olive oil to help it all crisp up, make sure it doesn't dry out. And then into the oven, 25 minutes, 180 degrees, and it's cooked. So while it's cooking, we'll make a really lovely tomato salad to go with it. Right, balsamic vinegar. There we go. I've got some garlic, not a lot of garlic. We just want a few little slivers to kind of give it a nice flavour. That's enough, so about a third of a clove, otherwise it'll just be too strong. There we go, that goes into the balsamic vinegar. And then olive oil, twice as much oil as vinegar, okay? There we go, and that's going to make a really lovely dressing. Pinch of pepper, pinch of salt, put that to one side. Now red onion. To get the core is left on there to make it really easy for me to slice so it won't fall apart as I chop it. So we'll just roll our knife through. If I turn it this way, you can kind of see what I'm doing. Nice and thin. This salad's beautiful with the red onion as long as you cut it thin. If it's big chunks, that's all you'll taste. Pop the red onions straight into the dressing. 
And then I've got two different types of tomatoes. We've got our usual sort of salad tomatoes, and then we've got these really lovely little mini, almost mini plum tomatoes, like little mini San Mizzano tomatoes. They're lovely. We're just gonna cut those in half and throw them in. straight in and then the salad tomatoes cut them into quarters and then cut them again into three so you've just got different shaped chunks really and just use the tomatoes that look and smell the best Just give this a really good mix together. Get that dressing all over the tomatoes. That's what's going to kind of allow it to kind of marry together and get all the flavours working. There we go. And then I've got some beautiful Greek basil. Love this stuff. Starting to see it in all the supermarkets now. It's kind of sweeter than your traditional big leaf. There we go. So we'll pop that straight in. And that is it. That is ready to go. All we need is our pollock that's in the oven to be ready and we're good to go. Okay, the fish has been in the oven for 20 minutes, 180 degrees. The tapenade is all lovely and crisp. Tomatoes have just sat in that lovely olive oil and balsamic vinegar and they just smell so fresh. This is just so Mediterranean, this. So, tomatoes, just drain off the dressing a little bit and just sit a nice pile of them in the middle. There we go. It in. And then we will grab a spoon and just lift off one of these pieces of fish. There we go, and we'll just sit that on top of the tomatoes. A little squeeze of lemon or lime, whichever you've got. That burst of acidity will just kind of clean it all off really beautifully. And then that tiny little drizzle of good olive oil is exactly what it needs. So that is our wonderful Alaskan pollock topped with a olive tapenade and breadcrumb crust with a tomato and red onion salad.